Hey guys. Well, uh, as you can see, I got the I got the meal set up on the uh, some dollies. I was gonna put it on one dolly, uh, but then I decided I better set it on two. And uh, it's still kind of rickety, but I wanted to get it up on the dolly so that I can, uh, you know, tear it apart, work on it, do whatever I need to do. Once I get it finished with the conversion. Uh, get the tray made, everything measured out, then I'll put it in its final place and I'll set it down on the floor and take it off the dolly. But yeah, I got it up on the stand without any really any difficulty using uh, the monster hoist that we have. So here I got my engine hoist that I borrowed from my father-in-law. He built this I don't know, probably 20 years ago, and it's a beast. Uh, it's very heavy, and it will lift uh, quite a bit of weight. So uh, there was no doubt that the hoist was going to do the job. But I got the hoist, and I was able to use it to uh, lift the mill into place and get it on the stand. Um, couple things I wanted to point out uh, save the bolts uh, these are real long bolts uh, you never know when you're going to use them uh, and the crate was bolted together on the sides so there's six long bolts and then there was four long bolts that bolted the mill to the crate so I thought well I'd just take a minute kind of check it over uh, I'm really impressed with the overall finish of the meal. Uh, I know that I don't know what the current 45 series meals look like as far as the fit and finish. I just seen photos from past builds and stuff, but inside here it's been rough. But you can see this on the Precision Matthews is nice and milled out. It's nice and smooth inside there. It's not rough casting. Uh, down inside the um, grooves for the where you can mount uh, fixtures is nice and smooth. Uh, the dovetails are nice and smooth. Everything is pretty good. Um, I was pretty impressed overall with the fit and finish of the meal. Uh, works pretty good. The meal runs. Uh, I haven't ran any, I haven't done any machining with it. I guess I probably should um, just to kind of give a, a review of the meal itself uh, with manual configuration. Uh, everything seems to turn smooth. It's got nice hand wheels on it, um, plenty of travel, it's, it is a good eight and a half inches on the Y and 15, maybe 14 and 7 eighths or so on the X and a good 18 inches on the Z, I mean it gets up there. Um, it's got a nice bearing in the top. And I think this is going to be good for when we go and do a CNC conversion. Uh, I think I'll just mount my bearing in for the Z-axis right in the same spot. That'll work out real good. Uh, inside the column you can see for the setup for the Z-axis manual up and down. Got good sized bolts here to bolt the column down and I come with this drain nipple for the x-axis here but yeah I got it up on the lift and I haven't really been able to do much uh, I've been kind of busy but I have been doing some shopping and trying to find some bargains on some items that I'll need um, 
I may use this e-stop and these buttons over. I'm not real sure how it's going to work out. Um, but definitely going to be doing a belt drive conversion, a three-phase motor, VFD, and of course the CNC conversion. Um, I picked up a refurbished Dale. Now this computer is a uh, Dale Optiplex 760. It's a cheap, inexpensive computer. I think it's running Windows Vista. It's a 160 gig hard drive, uh, four gigs of RAM, and it's a dual core. 3 gigahertz which is way more than you need for Mach 3 but yeah you can find these uh, this was I think $67 came with a keyboard and a mouse uh, while I was at it I also picked up a monitor uh, another eBay find uh, this is a 17 inch touch screen monitor used uh, $65 is what I think I paid for this on eBay so for $120, $130 I've got a computer and a touch screen monitor some other items I picked up was a power supply. Uh, this is a 48 volt power supply. Now this particular power supply is international power. You can see here this power supply it has uh, it's 120 to 48 volts and then it has a rectifier to turn it into DC and then it goes through a capacitor. This is a 500 watt. This is actually a really nice power supply they're normally probably 250 but this again was an eBay find and I, I picked this up for $48 I decided to go with lead shine three-phase steppers I'm going to be using a NEMA 34 size motor and for the z-axis I'm going to be using a 960 ounce and for the X and the Y I'm going to be using a 596 ounce and the drivers for these are a 3DM683. These are a digital driver. I'm going to also be converting this to a three-phase motor and a VFD. I got a good deal on this motor. I got this. This was an eBay find. It's the same motor that I used for my lathe project. Uh, I'm very pleased with that motor. It runs really smooth. It's a really nice motor. Uh, and the RPMs on this motor are 3425 at 60 hertz we're going to get those rpms up a lot higher than that and we'll see how it goes i wanted a good motor that i felt that was going to be dependable and so I, that's why i chose this motor uh, it is a front mount which is also something that i needed i uh, just kind of looked up and they had, it was on ebay brand new uh, so you just really have to just another thing is the VFD I went with the Emerson SK VFD and there's a couple reasons why I went with this one uh, the Teco drive that I used on my G0602 project it's a nice drive uh, and it was like $165 $175 something like that and it's a good drive but I found out that you can't just directly hook a braking resistor to that VFD. You have to have a special braking module and I think it was like $130 for this braking module. Now with this Emerson drive I can just hook a braking resistor straight up to it and that was a, a real big plus and again I uh, just happened to see this on eBay and picked it up. It's around $250 normally and I picked this up for $175 so I was really pleased with that also uh, yeah this is uh, I believe this is the exact same drive that Tormac uses on its uh, 770 mil that 770 is also running a one horsepower seems to be working fine for Tormac so I figured it'd work good for me let's see what else did I pick up a control cabinet so I was able to pick up this control cabinet again off eBay uh, and they wanted $89 for it but I was able to pick it up for $79 it's brand new there's nothing wrong with it uh, uh, it's pretty big it's 20 by 24 24 inches tall by 20 inches wide so I think what I'm gonna do is mount it up underneath the stand uh, picked up a braking resistor it's a 300 watt 50 ohms uh, braking resistor for the VFD 
and that should work just fine. Uh, next up, I'm going to try to start disassembling it and figure out our mounts for the X and the Y steppers, as well as the mounts for the Z. Um, I've got to figure out my mount so that I can get the ball screws on order. And I think I'm going to go with uh, 2005 ball screws. The current uh, screws are a pretty good size diameter. So they're over an inch in diameter probably. And I don't, I'm, I'm afraid to go with the 1605, so I'm going to go with the 20 millimeter screws. And I think I'm going to do the double ball nut configuration. I have got to get my ball screws ordered. And I took some preliminary measurements today for that. And so I'm going to be ordering those through linear motion bearings from Chi. And uh, hopefully get those there in a few weeks. And then I can start, uh, really start on the mounts. I may... Um, go ahead and start putting the electrical enclosure together. I've got to order some, I've got to get some wire uh, and some more, um, I've got some aviation plugs. I'm not gonna, sure if I'm going to use those or if I'm going to use something different, but uh, I've got some of those, so i got to get those. And uh, so yeah, I guess I'll start laying out the electrical box next and getting that wired up, and then when the ball screws get here, I'll start working on the mounts for that. So I just kind of wanted to let you know what's kind of going on. I'm just kind of doing some shopping and getting everything, trying to get my mind wrapped around this build and figure out exactly what I'm going to need and kind of get everything ordered. There's a lot of different things that you got to take into consideration. So, um, but that's the fun part is doing all the shopping and figuring out uh, for me. So uh, until the next video. Uh, Stay tuned, thanks for watching, and most importantly, be safe.